shoes, cheese, and my mga animals. So, bago kami pumunta ng Germany, dito muna kami. So, watch the video, guys. Uh, a little bit closer, I'm going to show you how to make shoes. Uh, another question, is there anybody who has a birthday today? The 24th. The 24th. But today is the 22nd. So that's not today. Nobody has a birthday today? No. Well, that's too bad. Because otherwise you get gifts. Yeah. Yeah, we're generous about it. Does it matter if your birthday is this month? Thank you. No, it's today. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah, I just have my birthday, you see? Yeah, we do have a lot of birthday parties here on the farm. So, okay. Anyway. Um, what what is the wood is that? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you guys know what kind of wood? Mm -hmm. Fine. You guys have cell phone. You can look on it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very good. Guys, oak. oak is oak. wood, but it's not oak. Yeah, so it's a different kind of tree. It starts with a P. Pine. Pine. You are amazing. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, pine starts with a P. Pine is a tree, but it's not pine. No. <laughs> oh. oh man, look at this. Guys, look. It's going to be a hole in this shoe. Air conditioning. No. no, it's not pine either. Guys, do you know any other tree that starts with a P? Like plum. Oh, yeah. Anyway, why do we use poplar? Because the wood is soft, yeah, it's very popular. A very popular. Oh, this is a little bit ugly. Uh, it's also very light, yeah, and it has a straight grain. And uh, this is very important. We have many poplar trees in Holland, so the wood is very cheap. Now, in the old days, my grandfather Bart, he made them by hand. Then it takes two hours, ladies wow. and gentlemen. But I am very good. I make them in five minutes. Wow. Wow. Yes, I am amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so that means we have more time for breakfast. <laughs> we're going to have a lot of cheese days. So what we're going to do first, guys, is we're going to cut the outside. And for that, I have a special machine. And it's standing back there. Okay. Yeah? And in the machine, there is a template. And the machine copies it. It goes real fast. Anyway, so people back there, they see, feel everything. People back here, they don't. <laughs> <laughs> you hear everything. But if you guys want to see it, yeah, you can also stand back there. Yeah, so then you can really uh, explore what's happening. So here in the middle, ladies and gentlemen, here we have the template, shape of the inside. Yeah. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this bar in this template, and when I move it, check this out, you see this knife here follows, but the knife on the other side goes opposite direction. So that means over there I can hollow out the right shoe, and this side left.
I know. Guys, I am amazed. The machine! Yeah, well, uh, the machine without me. Yeah, then the next thing is we cut off the front piece and we wait for three weeks. Because yeah. then after three weeks, the shoe is dry. Yeah. And then when it's dry, then we polish it with sandpaper. Yeah. Anyway, guys, pass it around so the people back there also can grab some good luck. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and then it's dry, then it looks like this, but it's still rough. Yeah. Yeah. So we have this uh, sandpaper uh, belt machine is right behind this lady. Hi. Hi. Uh, you just uh, go one way or the other, or you might lose a kilo. Yeah. Okay, guys, so here I have the same paper belt. I hold the shoe against it like this. Yeah. Now, luckily, I've got four kids. <laughs> yeah, we are family business. And when I milk cows, they send shoes. Except on Sunday. All right, but check this out. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, that's Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Okay, guys, feel it feels like a baby's butt. <laughs> like I said, I've got four kids. Yeah. Isn't that sweet? Very nice. You know what? Pass it around so the people back there can also feel how smooth it gets. And it takes about five minutes to do both shoes, and then they're finished, guys. And then we have the traditional Dutch, and we call them klompen. Yeah. And in Australia, they call them clocks. And in the Philippines, bakia. Yeah, bakia. Anyway, we make small bakias, yeah, small clocks, for small people. Yes. And we also play clocks <laughs> for basketball players. <laughs> for everybody. Yeah. Small, big. And also we uh, decorate our shoes, and back there on the wall you see all different designs that we make. Yeah, red, blue, yellow, cow design, pink, yeah, pink too, uh, green, very pretty, but they're not special. No, the special shoes, guys. Thank you. There are those here, and these are also carved out by hand. Yeah. All right, wedding shoes, awesome. But then, ladies and gentlemen, I got something you need. I got a pair of shoes that my grandfather Bart has worked in. His old working shoes. <coughs> no way. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, oh, the only way. Wow. Guys, and look, they're big and flat. They're like, yeah. yeah. Now, these are what's called peat or turf shoes. Yeah, and I'll explain. Our pasture, yeah, the way the cows walk, uh, the soil is made from peat. And in the winter, actually, also today, uh, at the end of the day, it's going to rain. And when it gets wet, it gets very soft, like mud. And then with normal shoes, he would sink through. And that's when he has these on, so that he could still work out there. Yeah? His working shoes. Yeah. Awesome. Anyway, working shoes. Then I've got also sports shoes, guys. Check this out. Whoa. Ice skating! Ice skating! Because <laughs> yeah. we Dutch people, that's our uh, favorite winter sport, is ice skating. That's speed skating. So if you watch the Olympics, or World Championship, Nobody can beat the Flying Dutchman. We're so fast. That's <laughs> car. He was uh, last time the winner. If you uh, watch it, you'll see Dutch flags all the time. Anyway, now these are big shoes. Yeah? But then now these days, uh, we also make shoes for different purposes. So, we make shoes. Mm. Yes, money. Dutch people, we love to save money. <laughs> yeah? So, we make shoe banks. And we also make these tiny little shoes. Guys, and there's a hole in it. Yeah? So those are not water resist. Yeah, but you wear it like a scarf, like this. Yeah? Now we get also we do also lots of birthday parties here on the farm. And then the birthday person we engrave the name and then they can wear it. Alright, and then my favorite Oh, yes, to open my mineral water bottles. We need more beer. Yeah, and Amsterdam has their own special mineral water. It's called Heineken. Heineken. <laughs> and you put your finger here in the middle like this, and then it sharpens. Awesome. And then I've got something. It's very popular here in Northern Europe, and these are the birdhouses. 
Yeah. Oh. For the bluebirds. Oh. But uh, mm. oh, yeah, the Philippines are, of course, from the Philippines. They have Mayas, from what I hear. Yeah, and, and Aussies, they have crocodiles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but anyway. Uh,